And here we are finally at our 10th match, representing the uh, the 10th uh, and most recent season of UDW. I was kind of running out of ideas for things to do for the 2K19 matches, and I remembered I never really got to use this Wyatt compound location. So I thought, you know, we'll just um, just use it here, we'll take a couple characters who kind of fit in well here. I, um, I always wanted to use this area just because... I uh, I thought it was kind of cool, and there's actually a lot of uh, backstage arenas in like 2K20 that I I'll never get to use because I didn't use that one for UDW. I always thought I could use this as like a a Jason match for like a pay per view or some big blow off or something for him because it would, I could play it like a kind of like a you know a, like a Camp Crystal Lake match, but uh, alas, it just didn't work out. <laughs> His only really big match was at the main event of Coast to Coast this year, and I just didn't think that this was the right setting for that match, for like a Universal Championship match, so we, we'll use it here, it's fine. Um, and yeah, I have uh, some stuff I want to talk about though, and it's going to run past the match, so it's just going to go to black. But I, um, I, I've i decided that I, I would like to move on from 2K19. You know, uh, 2K20 I didn't use because it was like famously kind of a broken mess, and by the time it got to be usable it was kind of way too late for me to use it and even then i still didn't really like a lot of the the ways that 2k20 worked um and then 2k22 came out and i thought about getting it but the problem was that it came out like a couple of weeks before my season change would happen and i thought well that's just inconvenient and i thought maybe it would just be that year so i thought maybe the year after that i get back on track with going with the new, more recent uploads, or the updating the games, I mean. And, and then 2K23 came out around the same time this year, so I think this might be the new norm, because historically the games would come out in like December, or a little bit before Christmas, maybe in November sometimes I think too, and then I would have like several months until Coast to Coast, where I could like build up the new roster, make the arenas, do all that stuff. But uh, with it coming out like uh, like within a handful of weeks before the end of the season, that's just not enough time. You know, um, this isn't my job. I can't spend like all day making wrestlers. I can only do a handful here and there. So what I've decided to do is now at our 10 year anniversary, after this match, I will take a break. <laughs> the first break I've ever taken with UDW uh, in, in the whole decade. I don't think I've missed a single day uploading matches. So I will, um, I'll take a break. I've already begun working on 2K23's uh, new roster. I've made a couple of characters in arenas and championships, but nowhere near ready to start recording yet. And then it'll probably be a couple of months, I assume, uh, some amount of time. And then just whenever I'm ready to start recording uh, and I have enough ro of a roster to run the universe mode, that's when I'll start. And then that will become when the new season break changes uh when the new season break happens in the future so wh whatever month that happens in that'll be the new start over and then i'll reorder all of the pay-per-views to fit that new schedule and that'll just be the norm going forward so i don't have to take a big break every <laughs> every year so yeah the channel's gonna go quiet for a while um i might still be able to do the odd request here or there but probably not or at least not frequently um, but for the most part, the channel is going to be kind of quiet. And then, yeah, once we're ready to start Season 11, I'll come back with the 2K23 Season 11. Just don't expect it anytime soon because, I, like I said, I, I have like a busy life. And I can't really make a lot of time to be making these characters fast or like to pump them out. And I don't want to rush them either. So it's going to take a little while. Yeah, until then, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the 10 years of UDW so far, and I hope you will join me in a, a couple of months, whenever that happens to be, for Season 11, and we'll, we'll keep rolling. And I'll see you all then. Thanks so much. Bye.